Hey guys, just a quick reminder. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified every time that I post. Thank you for your time. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Flutter course on building an e-commerce app. Before we even start creating the course, I'll just open up this picture to show you where are we going. What are we trying to do here, firstly, is to build this UI. Uh, but for the first few videos, I'm going to touch on some basic components of Flutter, some basic knowledge you have to have in, in order to build applications for Flutter. And specifically for this video, the first one, we are going to talk about widgets in a very vague way. And what are those? Widgets are basically simple put. Every component of the UI in Flutter is a widget. Everything you see on the screen is a widget. For example, in this UI we are going to build, you have this app bar here. You have the carousel, you have this image, you have these icons. You have these images in the grid view, they are all widgets. So widgets are just components of the application, right? Okay, uh, today we're going to create our very first application, Flutter application. It's going to be a simple hello world. And we're going to use the center and the text widget right if you have flutter installed or the flutter package in your android studio you'll have this option if you don't if you don't just go check my video on how to set up your flutter environment unfortunately i just made a video for windows uh because i know that most of you guys are using windows uh and if you do need some and if you do need to have a video on Mac, I will create another one and upload. Just let me know in the comments below. Okay, if you have everything ready and set up for this, you just come here and hit Start Flutter Project, hit Next. Here, we are going to call this Project Fashion Shop, for example. Or we're going to call it Flutter Ecom Ecom of e-commerce Flutter Ecom. Okay, next finish. This may take a couple time while when you're creating the project for the first time, so just wait and give it some time. So guys, here you have it. Uh, after the application is created, this is what you're going to get, All right? So just hit run, and you can run on iPhone only if you're using Mac. If you're not using Mac, you can have an Android device on your Android Studio. And to do that, you just come here you just create virtual device you pick the device you want to create for example here is this one you hit next and then you're supposed to download one of these systems uh, which is the system you're going to use after this is done you will be able to just start your Android emulator for the Flutter project I'm not going to download this for now. I'm going to use the iPhone X. But if you are on Windows and you don't have a virtual uh, simulator, you can use this. Or else, if you have a cable, you can connect to a real device. It's going to work. And I, w I would encourage you to use a real device if you have the option to. Okay, let's go back to it. Uh, we're not, I'm not going to try to explain this code now because it would be kind of overwhelming. 
but i'll just run it to show you guys what is in here let me zoom it i'll just run it and we will see this may take a couple of secs but it's okay 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 here we have it so guys this is what you get this is your application like all of this what this code does is displayed here you have a counter each time you click here the number here will change that's not rocket science but okay we don't want this for now so what are we going to do we're going to just command a or control a on windows delete the code after you do this you need to open here and you see this folder and delete it okay let's start it from zero okay and the first thing you're going to do when you want to write your flutter application is to import a package called flutter slash material dot dart and this just allows us to use material design on our applications and if you don't know what material design is simple put material design is a google design guideline which is uh, it has a set of rules to improve the user interface on your applications and uh, uh, web application mobile applications it's just a google design that guideline and we need to use uh, that the, the, the set of instructions of uh, material design on, on flutter or the set of guidelines okay uh, after you import this we are going to write void main and if you're coming for backgrounds like C or dart programming you know already know that the main function is like the mother function that's why the program will start the execution right inside of here you write run app and then we are going to write new material app again making use of the material design and inside of a widget this is our first widget the material app this is the main widget uh, consider this widget has the whole screen like this widget will be responsible for the whole screen and it has a lot of different properties but for now we'll just focus on home and for the home i'm going to use a widget called new center and inside of the center we are going to use a child means the widget we are providing now is supposed to be inside of the center widget and for the child we're going to give new text we are using a text widget and inside of here I'm going to write hello world let's run this and this is what you have and boom you have your very very first flutter app okay it doesn't seem or look very exciting but still it's, it's, it's an app so let me go back to the basic structure first you have to Im import the flutter and material uh, material dart format for material design then inside of the main function where the program execution starts you have a, spe a special function a library function called run app 
and inside the run app we are going to have a widget called new material app right then for the new material app we are providing a home property and saying that the home for the app is going to be a widget called center widget that's why our text here is centered and inside of the center widget we are going to provide another widget a child widget a text widget and you have it here text widget okay uh, before I finish this the, our very very first video let's try to change the home widget here and I'm going to provide a widget called container uh, container widget and again you're going to write child of the container you're going to provide the text widget and we're going to call it hello world 2 okay let us run this and here you see the difference because we are not using the center widget the text is no more centered you see it's just up here uh, but here I can give you I, we can use different properties for widget you can have many many multiple properties I will not just uh, choose a widget and give it and give all of its properties because it's going to take a long time I'm going to explain the properties of the widget and the widget as we need them right but before I finish the video I can just show you something called color and to provide the colors you just write colors dot then you choose a color let us take white and control s wait a second okay it's done now you see I just provided the color colors dot white and the background color just changed okay so uh, this was the very 101 video or class or lecture on flutter okay and you already have your first very first flutter application right for the next video, we're going to talk about a couple more widgets, the basic ones, before we get into the real stuff. Thank you for being here. See you on the next one.